Hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got requests from Angela and Catherine. I'll be starting off with Lindy Designs. And this is, it's not what you have, but who you have. Beautiful. And the other one is from Different Dimensions, and it is Birthday 2018. I have my base coat already on, and we're going to go in and apply the first layer of color. God, this is beautiful. Look at the formula. It's just lovely. And I'm sorry I sound like a frog, but I'm pushing through it because I want to share these manicures with you. And here we go with, it's not what you have, but who you have. It's got some duochrome like shiftiness going on in it. Very pretty. And here we go with our second coats. And as you can tell, both of these have really good formulas. They're just really, really nice to work with. I will be top topping it all off with the Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. <clears throat> get, excuse me, get it to seal in and dry down so that we can play with this stamping plate. Pretty. And today I'll be using the CADS Flower 026 plate for Catherine. I figured, you know, I could do two birds with one stone on this request kind of video mixing up some of those stamp and polishes that Becky sent me along with some of the plates that she sent me. So ladies, I appreciate the request. I am going to clean this plate off with some pure acetone and a paper towel. Get it all, you know, all that sticky layer off of it. I'll be using a Cold Diary NS01 and NS07 and the Cold Diaries Cerulean Polish and NS06 and NS09. I don't know that I'm doing this plate just right, so um, if you know any better, let me know. Uh, I could not find any videos using this particular plate, so I just figured you'd go with the bigger image and work your way up. I don't know. But I decided I was just going to do it whatever way. I am going to use uh, four images off of this plate today kind of play with it, give it a real run through. And I really do apologize for my voice, y'all, but, you know, I know there's only so many videos y'all are going to put up with where, you know, I slap on some music and let it roll, and I apologize. But it is what it is. So, so far, I'm liking this layered look. Um, I can tell you that by the time we got to the end of it, I was really pleased with the manicure. And I am using like a little piece of tape to get off the excess image that I don't want getting all over my fingers. I was really disappointed I couldn't find any other, um, you know, YouTubers or bloggers or anybody that had, you know, swatched this plate. I don't know if I just wasn't looking in the right place, but I couldn't find nothing nowhere on it. I was really kind of aggravated by that, but <laughs> I figure, well, let's just try it, do what we do, you know, and then I'm going to use that yellow for like the center, center little dots, those little tricky corner images, but like I said, in the end, I was really happy with the manicure, so I guess I did it okay, did it right. Now we're going to start in with the next one, and I'm going to do the same with these. I'm just going to, you know, go across the plate backwards and uh, do the same color stacking of colors that I did on the last nail. I'd always been intimidated by the layering plates. Um, I wouldn't. 
I, I never bought any, and Gailene sent me, Gailene325 sent me my first one and kind of got me out of that. So I'm not near as afraid of them as I used to be. Plop that one on there. I do like these though. I think they turned out really cute. I think that the images are nice and you know, I don't know that you have to use all five of those images. You might could get away with just using, you know, two or three of them to get the look that you're wanting. It's all about perspective, I suppose. So there we go. <laughs> three little dots. Go to all that trouble for three little dots. <laughs> there we go. So we have two done. And now for the third one. We're getting there, y'all. If you have this plate and you've used it, let me know if I'm doing this right or if I've got it backwards or if I'm trying to do too many um, on one. Just let me know, you know, let me know how to use this thing because, you know, I'm not really sure. You know, running a fever doesn't help, so. <laughs> I don't know if my foggy mind was just playing tricks on me and I thought this was the way to do it or if in reality this is how you do it. So if you know something, let me know. Let a girl know something, okay? I'm sorry, I keep getting out of frame, getting that excess off. Oh, and then we have to go drop it and, ugh, geez, now we got to start over. See what kind of day I'm having? <laughs> we all have those days. We sure do. You just got to roll with it, right? We're almost there, though. We've almost got this one done. Almost through this manicure. I was really excited to get into playing with all this stuff that Becky sent me. I was um, really happy that she sent me all of these goodies and wanted to make sure that I jumped right in and started using them. So the requests that came in were just phenomenal. I've got a pile of them here. Uh, to still work on. I wrote everything down, so hopefully I won't forget to do anything. And you guys will keep coming back and seeing what I'm doing with these goodies. All right, so I'm gonna clean this plate off so we can do the last one. A little messy looking, it's okay. There we go. Get in frame, girl. That's what I'm talking about. There it is. I'm sorry if I get quiet. I'm frog woman, so <laughs> trying to save my voice. My squeaky voice. I don't know if I mentioned it, but I am using my monocle stamper. I find that stamper easier to use when trying to line up some stamping. I don't know, something about it being squatty and wide makes it easy. Oh, wrong finger, girl. Get it right. There we go. Whew. Just barely missed that train wreck. All right, here we go. And here we go. Ta-da! So 
So as usual, I'm going to try to get some of this up with a piece of tape. And then I'm going to take in my cleanup brush with a little bit of acetone and tidy it up the rest of the way. It's just how I do it. I do it the same way every time. Just about. I'll be topping it with the Born Pretty Smudge Free Top Coat and then Posh Top Coat. Actually, I did the Born Pretty off camera. But I wanted you to know I did use it because I didn't want this to smear. And then I'm going to apply this Posh all nice and smooth. And there it is. There is my manicure. So I hope you enjoyed this one. I've got a swatch photo coming up. I want to thank you, Catherine and Angela, for the request. And until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.